wow, like it's just crazy how how many parallels there are between this the script in in our in our lives. Yeah. And then he was like, "Would you possibly want to do it with me? How could how could you not? It felt like mom was a big part of how why it was happening." Hello, John. Michael, it's good to see you, man. Thanks for having me. So, made in Italy. I just saw it yesterday. It's a uh, it's a wonderful escape, man, to uh, be able to. I've been to Italy before. I've been through the countryside, and it just really, you know, brought me back to that, to a kind of a more simpler time, you know. Yeah, I I think that's um, hopefully the thing that comes out of this. People one love the story, but two want to or can escape. You know, it offers like a brief, nice little respite from the times we're going through. So I and I'm glad people will be able to watch it at home on Amazon and and just be with their families. It, I think it deserves that, you know. Speaking of family, how did this project come to you? Because you actually got to act with your father, which I think is really cool. Sir, it was very cool. Well, he, he, we were both in upstate New York at our home and he had just gotten off the phone and read it with his English agent and he had read this script written by James. And he didn't say much, you know, he came up and he, it seemed really serious. It, it, it looked like he had been a little spooked out. He was like, Michael, I, you know, I, I just want you to read this before think, saying or thinking anything. I just want you to read it. Um, and, and I did. And I thought, wow, like, it's just crazy how, how many parallels there are between this, the script in, in, our, in our lives. And then he was like, would you possibly want to do it with me? To which I, <laughs> I was at a loss for words. I didn't, you know, I. It, how how could you not? It felt like mom was a big part of how why it was happening. Yeah, absolutely. That parallel um, goes so far into your personal life, and uh, not only getting to act with your father, but I thought that was a beautiful tribute in a beautiful way uh to pay respect you know as well um was it comforting for you uh as part of the process um yeah i i say it it it, it definitely was working with my dad also like being with him quarantine aside that was the most we had like spent time together in a long time so every day you're sort of dealing in the story, these little, little things and resentments that the characters have all because of the mother's death. And it, it, it was the, the whole, the entire filming of it was a, a cathartic experience, you know? Working with James Darcy, this is his directorial debut. What's it like working with a director that's also an actor? That's, that's got to bring some uh, benefits to the set when he, when he arrives. Oh, for sure. I mean, he, he was very generous to all the actors. He made everybody want to get as much coverage as possible and feel as comfortable as possible. And it also made a, a lot of the notes because I'm, 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 I'm more or less, I was more or less inexperienced at the time. And so to have him, who's, who is an experienced, very good actor, being there to guide me along the process was like, you know, such a benefit. So one of my favorite stories with your father that he shared us was, uh, we're down here in Houston and he was with Patrick Swayze and they got in a Jaguar and they're doing a hundred miles down 45 going down to Galveston and got pulled over by the cops. And your dad just goes, you got me, you know, like, what are you going to do? Uh, but your dad comes off with like, he does come off with like a tough exterior, you know, in some of his movies, but then on this one, he has obviously the more, uh, gentler side of him. What's something about your father that the general public wouldn't really expect, you know, growing up with him? Well, it is okay. At times growing up, if he was, if he was mad at you, it was intimidating. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He is a booming voice, but for the most part, what people might not see is he's just this big, you know, softy, this like big kind giant that is very charming and super laid back. You know, he's not constantly in the gym, just getting swole up like 
jacked up and ready and and snapping people's necks all the time. It's it's very much he's relaxed and and he's actually a funny dude. So there's a lot that people don't know about him. <laughs>